Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this one, I want to talk about the export information uh, that you get out of the work from Washrak and what is really mean uh, when you see many different kind of colors in your export information system that is built into Washrak, like chat, note, warn, and error. So let me go over here and let me actually close this and let me actually just uh, capture a, a, a brand new capture okay so i'm gonna do a quit without seven i'm gonna open up my washer okay and i'm gonna go to the shark lines this is my shark line so click on it and then i'm gonna begin so that begins my packet capture uh, sometimes you have to click on it and then click the shark pin and while this is going on let's go and this is the page where I want to go back. This is the uh, page that talks about export information from the workshop.org. We'll talk about this page a little. Uh, let's just say, I'm going to say PDF and just go randomly click on a bunch of different things here. Let's see. Uh, this one, I want about uh, five to 15,000 of packets okay, uh, that I want to capture. Uh, PDF Sam download then I'm not actually gonna download anything uh, let's try another search PDF reader let's see if I have Fox it uh, PDF reader 10 click on download and then don't download anything okay that should be enough so let's just go back to our packets and I almost got 10,000 so let's just pause this one now what you see here, okay, in our workshop, you have lots of different colors in here. Okay, well, what do they mean? Okay, first of all, if you feel like these colors are very distracting in your analysis, you can always go here and click on this. That will take all of the colors out. Okay. Now, but the color they mean something. So I'm, for now, for this video, I'm gonna put it back on. So I'm gonna click on that one. So that put all the colors back on. Over here, what you see to the very right, this is called the information graph as well. Here you have some dark black areas. So you can directly click on those areas and you will be able to uh, you know, go there. Okay, and or you can also use this bar at the very end to kind of move through and take the bar next to the black lines. So this is the dark black lines. So now before we move too much, let's understand what they are. So once you have captured now this packet got nine six nine nine almost ten thousand packets ninety six ninety nine right so you 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 are starting the analysis you want to make sure that you understand uh, if there's any issues with the pack capture that you have got one of the easiest way to do which is built in and very good is go to the analyze tab then go to the export information tab so if you click on it. Okay, I want to take out this for just a little. So now what you're seeing, there are four different type of uh, information that are presented and by default, they're actually grouped by the summary. Okay. Now at this time, let's go to the, our web page where we want to look at what that is. So the expert information is really uh, any anomalies and other type of interesting uh, information that you find that worship thinks that that is information uh, is useful to you but one thing that you should remember always remember expert information is the starting point of investigation not the stopping point just because you have some problem that doesn't mean that you have actually a problem and just because you do not have any information in the expert system that doesn't mean that you do not have any actual issue with your network so it needs some attention some human factor is involved now uh, let's look at the severity and if you look over here those are the colors that they're talking over here so error rate is a serious problem like malform packets uh, so over here you can actually expand any of them so here these are the packet numbers and if you bring up the workshop over here if you click any of them it will take you to the packet directly like over here we are in the like 54 to 87 range if i click this it directly take 
uh, took me to 8590. What is it? 8590 is right there and it's highlighted. So, what is the problem? Here's application data ignored, unknown record. I can go to the next one encrypted handshake message, ignore unknown record. So, it took me to this. Uh, again, you can go through this and review each individual packet. Another thing, since we are here already, you can go to any of these packets. And if you look at the packet itself, like this is what, uh, 8697. So, 8697 is right, right there. And as soon as you change and go to 8697, this window, the frame window is also uh, selected for this particular packet. And if you notice, even the packet has the colors the export colors that you see here that are also here and that is telling you what is the problem okay like over here if i choose one of these packets in here you see the blue color okay? because these are also part of this packet detail okay if i go come over to the chat go one of these and there is that color okay i'm go back to here one more time so really anything time you see the rate uh, Wireshark identifies that as a serious problem. So just a mouse and bracket warning would be application return an unusual error code. Like you have a connection problem, things like that. Note is really for the notable events. Uh, like you have a HTTP 404, and chat is usually uh, you don't have to worry about too much. It's about the usual workflow. Okay, a TCP packet with the same flag. Okay. Uh, the next thing over here that I want to talk to you about so this in here you have so much of information right now if you want to focus on say DNS do you want to just you know see if there's any issues any warnings errors with DNS you can search this so it's going to tell you okay here are the problem if you investigate again you can go and uh, you can click on a packet it will take you to that packet itself and you can look at what is going on in here review every single uh, network layer of your OSI to see if you have uh, look at the uh, queries and answers and all that stuff to investigate your issue that you're looking for and um, let's see anything else that you want to mention in here uh, the export information dialog we have looked at that one uh, we have looked at the search uh, we have I have already demonstrated the colorize option and uh, you can if you want you can add the export packet list column uh, in your workshop details you know I don't I don't necessarily use that but if you like you can add that export information uh, put in a column in over here if you like but for now, I'm not, I'm gonna I'm I'm, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, let's see if there's anything else that I wanted to show you. Okay, so over here, the last thing that I want to show you, uh, this export information. If you have thousands of and you know hundreds and thousands of packets, it could be a very long list. And what you can do, you can also come over here, click on the show, and maybe you are only interested in say warning and error so you can take those two out and you can filter out what exactly the type of error that you're interested in all right that's pretty much all about the export information system i wanted to cover again a quick recap once you've done with the packet capture you can go to analyze and export information is built in for you you just need to click on that one it's going to give you a lot of information and you can even filter around say tcp okay or dns whatever you are looking for you can also do uh, a look at the specific type of error that you're interested in just like that okay have fun learning workshark hope this video is useful to you give me a thumbs up and subscribe and let's meet for the next wonderful video thank you